Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? I hope you're doing okay today. My name is Cherie McGinnis and I welcome you to my channel. Um, this is a faith-based channel, so I hope that you enjoy um, this video. If you do, uh, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the little bell. And uh, it'll remind you when I have a video that does come up. I've got lots of playlists listed on my channel that has different videos like in different categories. Uh, you can start at the beginning and just keep going down if you want. I have an about channel. Uh, it has things about me, my P.O. box, all that kind of stuff on there. Um, just general information. Um, but anyway, uh, today I'm in the uh, Everyday Matters Life Bible for Women. And this is the Bible. I can get it up with my cover. Here we go. That's the Bible I'm going to be reading from. It has a, it's a devotional Bible. has lots of nice devotionals in it. But the one I'm going to do to, do to, the one I'm going to go over to, with you today on, <laughs> I'll get it right in a minute, is um, in Samuel, in 1 Samuel chapter 3. And if you want to get your Bibles, you can turn to that. And if you have this Bible, mine is on page uh, 318. Excuse me, granny glasses. 318. <laughs> so anyway, if you want to get your Bible and turn to 1 Samuel, and we're in chapter 3. The Lord speaks to Samuel. Meanwhile, the boy Samuel served the Lord by assisting Eli. Now, in those days, messages from the Lord were very rare, and visions were quite uncommon. One night, Eli, who was almost blind by now, had gone to bed. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle near the ark of God. Suddenly, the Lord called out, Samuel. Yes, Samuel replied, what is it? He got up and ran to Eli. Here I am, did you call me? Yes, Samuel replied. What is it? He got up. I just read that. I'm sorry. Uh, the Lord called out Samuel. And he said, yes, Samuel replied. What is it? He got up and ran to Eli. And he said, here I am. Did you call me? Okay. I didn't call you, Eli replied. Go back to bed. So he did. Then the Lord called out again. Samuel. Again, Samuel got up and went to Eli. Here I am. Did you call me? I didn't call you, my son, Eli said. Go back to bed. Samuel did not yet know that the Lord the, did not know the Lord because he had never had a message from the Lord before. So the Lord called a third time. And once more Samuel got up and went to Eli. Here I am. Did you call me? <laughs> Don't you imagine? <laughs> Samuel's probably like, oh my gosh, how many times I have to tell you, I didn't call you, kid, go back to bed. <laughs> then Eli realized it was the Lord who was calling the boy. Aha. Uh -huh. So he said to Samuel, go and lie down again, and if someone calls again, say, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel went back to bed. I'm sure Eli, I meant to say Eli, well, I'm sure he was rolling his eyes like, kid, go back to bed, okay? <laughs> but now that Eli's realizing, hey, that's God that's calling him. Okay, this is real important stuff. You know, I've got to tell the kid, get back in there now. <laughs> and Samuel replied, <clears throat> and the Lord came and called before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel replied, speak, your servant is listening. Then the Lord said to Samuel, I'm about to do a shocking thing in Israel. I'm going to carry out all my threats against Eli and his family from beginning to end. I have warned him that judgment is coming upon his family forever because his sons are blaspheming God, and he hasn't disciplined them. So I have vowed that the sins of Eli and his sons will never be forgiven by sacrifices or offerings. Now Samuel speaks for the Lord. Samuel stayed in bed until morning then got up and opened the doors of the tabernacle as usual. He was afraid to tell Eli what the Lord had said to him, but Eli called out to him, Samuel, my son. Here I am, Samuel replied. What did the Lord say to you? Tell me everything. 
and may God strike you to even kill you if you hide anything from me. So Samuel told Eli everything, and he didn't hold back anything. It is the Lord's will, Eli replied. Let him do what he thinks best. Wow, can you imagine? That's a big step. As Samuel grew up, the Lord was with him, and everything Samuel said proved to be reliable. And all of Israel, from Dan in the north of Beersheba in the south, knew that Samuel was confirmed as a prophet of the Lord. The Lord continued to appear at Shiloh and gave messages to Samuel there at the tabernacle. And Samuel's words went out to all the people of Israel. Now, the devotion on this says, Mentors help us hear God's voice. In 1 Samuel uh, 3, young Samuel hears from God. But it takes Eli, who's older, wiser, and more mature, to help him discern that he's truly hearing God's voice. All of us need an Eli in our lives, a spiritual mentor who's been walking in faith longer than we have, someone who can help us hear and respond rightly to God. A good mentor should be someone who's able to discern God's voice and understand God's words, someone who has a fervent prayer life who studies and is clearly obedient to God's word. As you study scripture and seek to hear God's voice, you can go to this person and say, here's what I sense God saying to me. What do you think? Without mentors, Christians can easily take a verse of scripture out of context and go off in the wrong direction like a misguided arrow. When we face big decisions and are trying to follow God's leading, we go to our mentors and ask them to pray with us and help us discern God's will. God often uses them to give us a sense of confirmation that, yes, indeed, God is speaking to us. So uh, Priscilla Shearer is the one that wrote that uh, devotional. There's many different women that write the devotionals in this Bible, and that one's by Priscilla Shearer, and uh, that was a good one. Can you imagine, I mean, if someone says they're going to come and destroy, if God says that he's going to come and destroy your family and you and everybody, you know, whatever, I mean, can you imagine that? Be like, oh my gosh. But Eli was such a believer and had faith in God. He's like, you know what? He's right, of course. Uh, he's totally right. You know, they have been doing what he said they're doing, and they deserve it. You know, whatever he needs to do to any of us, whatever, you know. But uh, it's good that he had a mentor like Eli to go to because Samuel didn't really understand yet. But then he did, and then people could believe anything he said. He was a great prophet, but great mentor. And, uh, and it worked out really well that uh, he listened. He listened to Eli. Um, but uh, the Lord had had enough, and he wasn't going to put up with it no more. And I thought that was uh, a pretty good devotional to go over. Um, let's see here. I love this Bible, though. I did mention it before. I'm not sponsored or nothing. All this stuff I buy myself. I'm... You know, I'll just give you my honest opinion on stuff. But this is a great devotional Bible. Uh, if you have, uh, it's not that expensive. So if you've got someone on your Christmas list that you think would like this Bible, uh, that'd be a good little uh, gift. This, a little composition book and uh, uh, ink pens and stuff. I mean, you can get some stuff from the Dollar Tree. And this Bible I ordered online, eBay or Amazon. You can probably get it at the Bible stores, I'm sure, too. But it is a really, really good Bible. It's called Everyday Matters Bible for Women. And the cover usually looks like, excuse me, like this. Okay. But anyway, it is a great Bible. I would highly recommend it. So, thanks for watching today. I'll just do a short little video. Um, I don't know if you're watching on your lunch hour or what, you know. But uh, um, I hope that you have a great day. A great week and keep safe and remember to live, laugh, laugh and laugh some more because laughter is the best medicine. And I will see you back here real soon. We give God all the glory. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.